The Miami Dolphins will open the 2021 training camp on Saturday, July 31st and begin the process of building this year's roster. One position group that will play a key role in the success of this year's team is the offensive line. Today we will look at this group and predict what this room might look like. Last year the Dolphins carried nine offensive linemen for most of the season, so it seems fair to assume they will again be right around that number. Locks. Robert Hunt. After a solid rookie campaign at right tackle, speculation is that Hunt will slide one spot left and take over the right guard position. Many feel that this is a more natural position for Hunt and one that could propel him into the Pro Bowl conversation. Solomon Kindley, this mountain of a man was another solid contributor in his rookie season. Kindley is a road grader in the running game and started 13 games for the Dolphins at right tackle last season. With rumors of Hunt kicking inside to right guard, it means that Kindley will more than likely make the move to left guard. Austin Jackson, the highest draft choice of the three rookies last year Jackson is set to continue his role as Miami's left tackle. Jackson has his critics but overall Jackson had a decent year in year one. Having a year under his belt and a full offseason should help Austin Jackson take the next step in his progression. Jesse Davis, some may scoff at this one but Jesse Davis is a Brian Flores type of player. Unselfish and versatile. Davis can play virtually anywhere on the offensive line which makes him a very valuable piece. A guy with the positional flexibility of Davis allows the Dolphins to potentially carry one less lineman than they might normally. Liam Eichenberg, after drafting three offensive linemen last year Miami continued their investment in the offensive line in this year's draft. Miami traded up eight spots in the second round to select the Notre Dame tackle. In his two years as a starter for the Fighting Irish, Eichenberg gave up only three sacks in nearly 1,800 snaps, including zero his senior season. Eichenberg will not only make the roster but will be given every opportunity to compete for the starting right tackle job. Michael Deiter. Deiter hasn't exactly lived up to his third-round draft selection but has done a solid job filling in when asked. Again Deiter brings position flexibility to the offensive line unit with the ability to play center and both guard spots. Deiter will enter camp battling for the starting center position but whether he wins that position or not, look for Deiter to be one of the Dolphins' 53 when the season starts. Most likely to make, Matt Skura. The Dolphins signed Skura this offseason in hopes to solve the center position. Skura was an above-average center for the Baltimore Ravens before signing with Miami. During his time as the Ravens' starting center, three seasons, Baltimore twice finished with the number one overall rushing offense and finished second in the other. So it goes without saying that Skura comes with plenty of pedigree. The problem is that Skura developed what some would call the yips last season when snapping the ball. If the Dolphins can solve this problem, which I think they will then look for Skura not only to be on the 53-man roster but should step into the starting center role. Should the yips continue then Skura could be on the outside looking in. DJ Fluker. While Miami tends to like them young, Fluker comes to the Dolphins and immediately becomes the third oldest player on the roster at 30 years of age. Fluker is another guy that has some positional flexibility having played both right guard and right tackle in his career. He also fits the recent mold of Dolphins lineman as he checks in at nearly 350 pounds. Assuming he can stay healthy through training camp one look for Fluker to make the team and provide solid and experienced depth especially if Eichenberg is not ready to step into the starting right tackle role. Jermaine Iluemunor, another offseason signing and another very large man at 345 pounds. Iluemunor comes to the Dolphins from New England. Last season Iluemunor started the season as the Patriots' starting right tackle before injuring his ankle in week 6 which caused him to miss the remainder of the season. This term starts to become redundant but Aluemunor is another guy that has that position flexibility having played both guard and tackle during his time in the National Football League. Long Shots Cameron Tom Tom was signed in February as a free agent from New Orleans. Tom comes enlisted as a center and will provide an additional camp body at the position but is unlikely to make the Dolphins' final 53-man roster. Adam Pankey Pankey is entering his fifth season as an NFL offensive lineman having spent two seasons with Green Bay and two in Miami. Pankey has been a backup his whole career. Looking at the investments the Dolphins have made in the offensive line room over the past couple of years and barring any major injuries, 
The numbers game will catch up to Pankey in Miami this year. Practice squad. Larnell Coleman. The Dolphins drafted Coleman, out of UMass Amherst, in the seventh round of this past April's draft. The Finns must see some development opportunities within this young man. Jonathan Hubbard. Hubbard was signed by Miami in April of 2020 as an undrafted free agent and spent last season on Miami's practice squad. Hubbard seems destined to be there again for the 2021 season. Derval Kairaz Netu. Derval has been on the Dolphins' practice squad for the past two seasons. Kairaz Netu came to the Dolphins in 2019 through the NFL's International Player Pathway Program. This program assigns players from outside the United States to teams and provides the team with an extra practice squad slot to accommodate such a player. If Netu remains the international player roster spot then he is ineligible to be called up at any time during this season whereas if he's designated as simply a practice squad player he becomes subject to the same rules as any other practice squad player. Look for Kairaz Netu to continue his role on the practice squad as part of the international player pathway program. In the end and barring any surprise cut veteran signings or major injuries, I expect the Dolphins to enter the season with a starting offensive line of Austin Jackson, LT, Solomon Kindley, LG, Matt Skura, C, Robert Hunt, RG, and Liam Eichenberg, RT, with backups of Jesse Davis, Michael Deiter, DJ Fluker and Jermaine Aluemunor.